Hello everyone, and welcome to the world of digital marketing. And what an exciting new world it is. Not a day goes by when we don't hear a digital success story, be it a seven-year-old startup becoming the fastest growing company in the world, or a hundred-year-old conglomerate completely changing the way it's doing business through digital. Its impact is everywhere. And it's gonna impact all of us right here. If you are a marketeer who's trying to learn new skills, it's gonna impact you. If you're an entrepreneur who's trying to find a new way to promote his business in the digital space, if you are a professional who's just trying to learn new skills to do his own work in a different way, or if you're a student who's just trying to figure out his role in the new job landscape, all of us will be impacted by digital. In this one and unique digital world, you're truly either in or you're out. Now a little bit about this course called Basic Digital Marketing. It's a four module, eight lecture, eight week long course that's gonna start by covering very basic digital marketing ex experiences. And eventually it will move on to more hot button topics like social media marketing, search engine marketing, and data analytics. Now, before we start any journey, we have to understand what that journey is all about. That's why today's lecture topic is called misconceptions about digital, which very simply put, is all the perceptions that we hold about digital that we believe is right, but actually it's not. And let's start with a very prominent misconception that we have about digital, which is digital marketing is all about social media marketing. Now, this statement has two very wrong assumptions. Number one, it wrongly assumes that digitization means digital marketing. Now, in the entire digital transformation umbrella. Marketing falls only one small corner of it. So if we make that jump straight to marketing without covering the entire spectrum, we'll miss out all the glorious learning opportunities that the entire transformation journey presents us. Now we will talk ab about this with a lot more details in lecture two. The second assumption that we, that the wrong assumption that we all have is that because we, print, we spend so much time in social media, we wrongly overestimate the importance of social media marketing and wrongly underestimate the importance of a lot of other tools that are not as popular or let's say glamorous as social media marketing. Now in a study that was done globally, 2,352 people were asked, which marketing technique will give you the biggest edge going forward? Only 8% people said social media marketing. So clearly there's a lot more to digital than just marketing or social media. Let's move on to the second misconception that we hold, which is we believe that digital marketing is a bit like traditional marketing where creating consumer awareness is a start point of the journey. Now for years, we lived in a world where models like what you're seeing in the screen where creating brand awareness was the starting point of the, of the marketing journey. Now that was a traditional era. In the digital era, consumers are a lot more distrusting and they avoid advertising, which basically means we don't start straight away from creating brand awareness. We start this journey a lot earlier. Let's give an example. Before understanding that, we have to first understand a concept called micro moments, which was made popular by Google. Now the basic premise behind micro moments is that in the entire consumer daily decision-making journey, there are as many as 150 micro moments where consumer makes a lot of decisions. It can be as simple as just trying to find out what are the traffic alerts so that he can choose the right route to go, or it can be something, something as complicated as trying to figure out what a heart surgery looks like. Now your job as a digital marketeer is to be present in all those relevant micro moments with very attractive content. That's why content marketing is such a hotly discussed topic in digital world today. Now, not all these micro moments are purchase moments, which basically means that for you, not every interaction with consumer has to be directly linked with the brand. Let's look at an example. Suppose a consumer is searching popular baby shower themes. Now, if you're a baby product manufacturer and marketeer, you can create a very attractive content with listing all the popular baby shower themes of the season 
and make that content available to the consumer without directly linking it to your brand. If the content is appropriate, consumer will accept it and start a relationship with you, a very trusting and credible relationship. So next time when that consumer search baby diapers, at that point you can be more upfront and directly pitch your baby diapers straight to the consumers. Now these days, a lot of this relationship between brand and consumer starts with this kind of human relationship where there's a not a lot of role for direct brand marketing. And once this relationship uh, creates some kind of trusting interaction, only though then those human relationships are transformed into a direct commercial experience. So in short, in digital world, a marketer has to be a lot more subtle, clever, and creative in all the marketing expertise that he needs to deliver. Now the third and final misconception that we have is that digital marketing is only about online. Again, this is inaccurate because there's a concept called omnichannel which says that all the relevant online and offline channel has to be integrated very smoothly so that there's a consistent value-adding consumer experience that is being created. So a digital marketer just doesn't create a website and leaves the store manager to, to manage the store. In fact, a truly savvy 21st century digital marketeers has a kind of 360 degree online offline uh, uh, integration expertise that is very important for his survival. So if you are a traditional marketeer, on top of your traditional marketing skills, you have to build digital skills. And on top of that, you have to create a strategic capability to integrate all those different skills so that that makes you a well-rounded marketeer. So that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time when the topic of discussion is the million dollar question that we all try to figure out, which is what exactly falls under digital marketing? Until then, goodbye.